Well, greetings, interwebs. Today is going to be a little bit different. Today I'm actually fixing a full meal because my mom's coming over. My mom and my stepfather are coming over to dinner today and I'm going to cook for them. Oh, and um, put your helmets on because I'm fixing to drop a, a big knowledge bomb on you. You ever wonder why some people call it dinner, some people call it lunch, some people call it supper? You know, well, way back in the old agrarian days, particularly here in the South, we were very agricultural, the biggest meal of the day was dinner. And that was usually served at noon. So you see the old things where a woman goes on the front porch and ding, 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 you know, banging on the thing, making a lot of noise, come and get it. Everybody would come in from the fields, have a big, huge meal, and that was dinner. Then when you get home in the evening, you have leftovers, and that was supper. Well, as we move to a more urban society, you just carry a sandwich or something simple to eat at noon, and that was lunch. And you come home in the evening, and you have your big meal of the day, that was dinner. So now you know where all these returns came from. In the meantime, let's get on. I've got um, I'll show you where the black eyed peas, with some bacon to go with it. Of course, the one, two, three rice. Or one, two, three, one, the one, two rice. Yeah, two, one rice. The rice in a bowl. Two minutes. Yeah, anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> and we're going to do pork. Do you remember the pork? Mmm, the good ham, hip, rump, whatever, ham, the dark meat ham. And somebody had suggested trying something Italian. So, I'm going to show you my little cheater recipe for Italian style ham. And it's not what you think, but it's so good. So, stand by. If this seems a little rushed, I apologize, but I'm legit cooking a meal and people are on the way. So, yeah, I'm going to try to hurry this along. Now this, zesty Italian dressing. Not regular Italian, zesty Italian. Has more flavor. I do put a little bit in the bottom of the pan. Stick up my pan with a little bit of aluminum foil. Save my cleanup later, because, well, you know, why work hard when you don't have to? Now just spread a little bit around. See? Now. Start dropping the steaks in it, the pork steaks, the delicious, juicy, thick pork steaks. This will work really with um, any kind of white meat chicken. This will work well with chicken as well. I do this quite often with, um, you take a breast and cut it in little pieces. That way it cooks a lot faster and it's the flavoring gets in more. Breast meat tends to be, in my opinion, kind of dry and flavorless. Mmm, doesn't it look delicious? And the nice thing about this, I make too much of it. Guess what we're having for lunch at work tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I purposely make too much of stuff. So I have lunch the next day. Spread these around. Nice and neat. Give it a one left over. It's like putting together a puzzle. There we go. Got neatly spread around. That was four packs. And these, as you can see, were all buy one, get one free. So yeah, basically half price. One pack left, more of it later. Now, Or is that the Italian? Spread all over top of it. What's going to happen is when we start cooking it, it's kind of going to boil a little bit, which is going to make the meat extra tender. Which, you know, is a good thing. More of that, you could cut it with a fork. Kind of thing. There we go. Got a whole tray of pork ready for the oven. Of course, 325. 
Ah, I'll just watch the clock. When they get here, I'll start looking at the time. Okay. Some biscuits, we'll put those in towards the end because they cook very quickly. Next up, the peas. This is bacon. Well, I got a bit closer. This rice is almost gone, but never fear, there's always more. Hmm. Should I or shouldn't I? What do you think? A little mac and cheese. There's another top tip. Spend the extra 30 cent to get the good stuff. That cheap stuff with the orange powder, just, ugh. Okay, on to the peas. You know how I brag about these being quick and simple meals you can make quickly and easily? Well, you see me doing this very quickly because like I said, people are on the way. They'll be here in just a few minutes and I'm just getting started. So yeah, there you go. Okay, pull out three strips of bacon. Go ahead, get this pot, put just a little bit of oil in the bottom, just a touch. And spread it around a little. That's just, just coat. I'm not really cooking with it. Cut the bacon up in little pieces. So, now normally I would cut up an onion in it, but my stepfather does not like onions, so no onion. Get the bacon started. Okay. Our friend, the minced garlic. Dump in the dollop. You have one of the kitchen scissors. <clears throat> Down on the frozen peas with snaps, but you know, they're good. Little bit of pepper. This is personal taste, how much you put in, if any at all. I just put a little sprinkling some flavor. A little bit of garlic salt. Just a little sprinkling for flavor. The bacon is generally salty enough. Now, sit and cook while I clean up after myself. Next, rice. Okay, so I made the executive decision. We are going to have macaroni and cheese because mom loves it. I love it. And like I said, what we don't eat will be lunch tomorrow. So mac and cheese, you can't go wrong. Just boil the noodles till they're done and squirt in the cheese sauce. <laughs> it's that easy. Got my water. Let it sit and boil. And we'll get this going. This is a little bacon pack. 
key sauce, and of course, the noodles are in the box. You just wait for the water to boil. In the meantime, rice. Okay, class, we gotta remember one scoop of rice, and then two scoops of water, right? It's just that simple. Microwave. And what was the number? Cooking time. One, seven, zero, zero, start. One cup of rice, two cups of water, 17 minutes in the microwave. Perfect rice every time. If you have some chicken broth, put the chicken broth in your peas, give it some more flavor. Also, you know, put some water. I should have actually shown, but yeah, you put some water here with it. That'll kind of help steam it up, cook them up better. Now put the lid on. Let them go. I didn't really list this as a you know measurement or anything, but in the pot full of black eyed peas, after I put everything in, I filled it about half the depth of the peas with water. So now you know. Okay, time to dump our noodles. Little tip when you're making pasta. Put a little bit of oil in the water. That way it keeps the pasta from sticking together when you put it in. Okay, time to make mac and cheese. Good top tip, stir. Keep stirring it so the pasta doesn't stick together. Even though there's oil in it, it's still liable to stick. Every once in a while, come back, check it again. That whole throwing it against the wall, see if it sticks. No, just take one out, bite it, and if it's done, it's done. If it's not, keep cooking. But throwing it on the wall, no late. Okay, biscuits are done, pork's done, everything's done. Ah, biscuits are just slightly brown. And pork. Pink and brown, all done through and through. We can give that a shot. Peas. These are all nice and done. And of course, mac and cheese. So, time to plate it up. Well, this may not have been the most exciting cooking video I've ever done, but it's quite delicious. The meal went well, everybody was happy. Not everybody likes to uh, be on camera, which is why you didn't get to see any of the actual meal part. We still have some of uh, the pork left over, so I'll be having that for lunch all during the week, at least Monday and Tuesday. And at least you'll probably have some as well. So, um, to recap, here's what we did. I got some of that delicious pork that I normally make. I soaked it with zesty Italian dressing, let it cook for about an hour, 325. It makes it tasty and seasoned and very, very tender. So I also made some black eyed peas. Make a, cook some bacon first. Then you put the black eyed peas in the pot and however much black eyed peas, you put half to three quarters that amount of water and you just let them cook and try them every once in a while to see if they're soft yet, if they're done. Uh, a little garlic salt for seasoning. You might want to put a little more seasoning than normal because when you make them with rice, the rice has no flavor and it's very bland and it kind of cuts the flavor down a bit. I uh, threw some biscuits in the oven. You can't go wrong with those pop pop biscuits. You just open a can, throw them in the pan, stick them in the oven 15 minutes later, boom, they're so good. 
and just for fun because we like it I made some macaroni and cheese I got the good kind the shells and cheese just because it's better than the regular and the nice thing about cooking too much guess what I'm having for lunch tomorrow at work oh yeah well there you go folks that's me hurrying through trying to get a meal done because folks were on the way didn't take my time didn't rehearse didn't write anything down I just boom jumped in the kitchen and did it uh, sorry my narrative was not so good but like I said I was rushing because people were on the way Remember, this was a real you know real live meal so anyway um, if you like what you saw today sure give me a thumbs up maybe make some comments below and let me know what you thought and if you know any friends that might be interested in some cooking videos don't forget to subscribe and share every little bit helps in the meantime be seeing you I should come up with something witty and clever to say here, but I'm at a loss. Sorry. Sorry. I've been trying to rush through this. They'll be here any minute. The heck? Well, there you have it, folks. a moment in time stay still when the spirit